Hello, my name is Maria Perskudina, and I am an undergraduate growth facilities assistant at the University of Toronto in Mississauga. This is the XTech Instruments CO2 meter instructional video, where I will be demonstrating how to use the CO2 temperature and relative humidity features. Carbon dioxide is a natural greenhouse gas produced through many processes, such as respiration and combustion. CO2 is important for plant growth because it is an essential component of photosynthesis. Monitoring the CO2 levels allows for the accurate simulation of different environmental conditions that can affect plant growth. Current atmospheric CO2 levels are around 421 ppm. Maintaining CO2 levels around 400 ppm will simulate natural plant growth. It is possible to increase plant growth rates by raising the CO2 levels. However, the optimal CO2 level will depend on several factors, such as the plant type, the light intensity, and the size of the chamber. In terms of the range, this meter can measure carbon dioxide levels between 1 and 5,000 ppm at a 1 ppm resolution. The meter is pre-calibrated to a standard 400 ppm CO2 concentration. It is important to not attempt to recalibrate the meter in an area of unknown CO2 concentration. If you have any concerns about the accuracy of the device, please contact the growth facility staff. In addition to measuring the current CO2 levels, this meter also records the minimum and maximum values, the short-term exposure limit, which is a 15-minute average, and the time-weighted average, which is an 8-hour average of the CO2 levels. Temperature affects several processes such as photosynthesis, respiration, and transpiration. The rates of these processes can be manipulated to a certain extent by adjusting the temperatures. The optimal temperature for growth will depend on several genetic and environmental factors. In terms of ambient room temperature, this meter has a working range between negative 10 to 60 degrees Celsius with a resolution of 0.1 degrees Celsius and an accuracy of plus or minus 0.6 degrees Celsius. In addition to measuring the ambient temperature, this meter can measure the dew point and wet bulb temperatures. However, plant growers and researchers are usually less concerned with these measurements since they are not met under optimal plant growth conditions. Relative humidity provides a measure of water vapor relative to the temperature, so it is shown as a percentage of the maximum quantity of vapor that could be in the air at that temperature. When humidity levels are too high or too low, plants are unable to photosynthesize effectively, which results in reduced growth or even death. Therefore, for most plants, the optimal relative humidity is between 50 and 60 percent. This meter can measure relative humidities between 0 and 99.9 percent at a 0.1 percent resolution. It has an accuracy of plus or minus 3 percent between 10 and 90 percent relative humidities. The meter is calibrated to a standard 33 and 75 percent salt solution. The meter should not be calibrated without these solutions as it can severely damage the device. If you have any concerns regarding reading accuracy, please contact the growth facility staff. To properly use this meter, you will need the meter, including the carrying case and provided batteries, a 2% detergent, and some paper towel. To start, wipe down the meter using a paper towel and a 2% detergent. Once dry, insert the provided batteries into the meter. Once the batteries are in place, turn on the meter by pressing the set button. At power up, the meter will emit a short beep, which is followed by a 30 second countdown, which allows for the meter to warm up. Once the meter is warmed up, it will display the current carbon dioxide levels at the top of the screen, temperature on the bottom left and humidity on the bottom right. Once powered on, the meter begins taking measurements immediately and updates every second. After moving the meter to an area with different conditions, it will take 30 seconds for the carbon dioxide readings and 30 minutes for the relative humidity readings to fully adjust. Since the meter is constantly taking measurements and updating the display, you can press the hold button to freeze the current measurements. A hold note will be visible on the top left corner of the display. To unfreeze the measurements, press the hold button again. To view the additional carbon dioxide measurements, press the max slash AV button. With each press of the max slash AV button, the meter will cycle through the minimum, maximum, short-term exposure limit, and time-weighted average values in sequence and then return to the normal mode.
Please note that when taking measurements, do not hold the meter close to your mouth or any other sources of CO2 as this might affect the accuracy of your readings. To view the additional temperature measurements, press the DP slash WBT button. With each press of the DP slash WBT button, the display will cycle through the ambient, dew point, and wet bulb temperatures. Once you are done using the meter, first turn it off by pressing the set button. Then remove the batteries and put them back into the provided plastic bag. Then wipe down the meter using a paper towel and the 2% detergent. Once the meter is dry, place it back into the carrying case along with the batteries and the included materials. Here is a reference photo of all the equipment put back into the carrying case. For additional information regarding this meter, please refer to the resources available on the UTM Growth Facilities website or contact one of the Growth Facilities staff.